One of the big developments in the past year, probably made most popular by Tesla's new back. For homes that have perfectly safe service equipment, um, they're just avoiding having to do that uh, by installing technology like this. Sometimes they don't, won't even have to enter the home, which is like another added benefit, right? The homeowner doesn't have to be, be there, must let people in. Um, so yeah, really big benefit of the product. But again, you know, if for a lot of homes, especially here in California, if you have an old yeah. undersized electrical service, the smarter way to go solar. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and today we're coming to you from Inner Solar North America, which is the big solar conference here in San Diego. And this afternoon I'm joined by Nora Lardner and Megan Fleming from Connector. We're looking at the new Connector meter collar adapter and some of the other accessories that we've got here. So Nora, Megan, great to spend some time with you. Thanks for taking time to chat with us. Of course, thank you, Joe. All right, well, you know, in the industry, one of the big developments in the past year probably made most popular by Tesla's new backup switch meter collar adapter is this idea of having the meter coll collar adapter essentially be your your gateway or your, your microgrid interconnection device so that you don't have to do these costly and cumbersome critical loads panels uh, or have to install these separate transfer switches and gateways. So can you walk us through uh, the connector meter collar adapter how does it work and what are some of the other um, systems that you interface with? Sure, absolutely. Um... Yeah, so we, um, we're currently uh, be getting our islanding device certified. Um, so it is called the Islander. We're really proud Islander, of it, okay. sticking with our theme. So actually spelt with the, the D-E-R at the end. Um, it's gonna actually look pretty similar to the backup switch. Big difference is that it will be compatible with multiple different BESS systems. So, um, you know, we have one of our partner storage systems here, Lunar. Um, we're gonna have several others. Those will be released to market soon. Um, other big differences, which makes this a really, really unique product, uh, we have these heat sinks on the side um, that truly makes it you know, able to work with a 200 amp service. Um, also, one of my favorite parts about the product, which people do tend to make fun of me for, also compatible with both two and 12 S meters. Um, so gonna be a really unique product for more urban areas. Uh, those areas typically have smaller service sizes as well. So it will be a game changer in places like New York City eventually. Okay. Well, you know, as we're recording right now, of course, we're, we're here in San Diego, Southern California. Um, what, I guess, what needs to happen for this device to be able to be used in California, or is it already approved and rated for that? It is not approved in California yet. Um, we're actually currently getting our NERDL listing with Intertech. Um, once we do, uh, we will be submitting to the public utilities in California. The great thing about California is there is already a process in place for uh, evaluating products like these and approving them. Uh, so once we have that listing, we'll be submitting, uh, the utilities will have 90 days to evaluate, approve, uh, give some feedback and start allowing installations. Typically, the California utilities do want to have a small pilot program, and we're going to be working with our partners to make sure that we can expedite those pilots as much as possible. Sounds good. Sounds good. Now, my understanding is, you know, one of the major advantages with a meter collar adapter type of interconnection is that you can avoid having to disrupt or, or minimize the disruption to the home's electrical system and also potentially avoid main panel upgrades. Is that correct? Correct. I stopped using the board main panel upgrades, actually. Um, I've been calling them main panel replacements. Um, an upgrade is something that would be better. Um, I look at the meter socket adapters as the upgrade um, and replacing your panel unnecessarily um, just as a replacement, right? Uh, for homes that have perfectly safe service equipment, um, they're just avoiding having to do that uh, by installing technology like this. Uh, but that is a huge benefit for homeowners um, and installers, right? Saves them time outside of the home. Um, other big benefits for, for homeowners, absolutely, it's going to be less disruptive. It's also for the installers, just a much more consistent installation. Um, they don't have to rely on uh, photos of the home's main panel that could have poor quality. Homeowner could have done other ads to their home before the actual, you know, batteries uh, or solar installation. So yeah. really minimizing that that risk for them. Yeah, because I've, I've seen it tons of times with installers, they go to put a solar and battery system in, 
And for those of you that are not, not electricians out there, I mean, when you're installing a solar and battery system, you're, you're essentially doing surgery on the home's electrical system. And if you open up that electrical panel and you see all these code violations, a lot of times as a contractor, you're on the hook to correct all those violations, even though you were only contracted to do the solar and battery installation. But now, well, maybe we've got out, um, you've got wiring that's out of code for the, the pool pump or some accessory that the homeowner may have added on. And now you've now taken on some of that risk. So by doing the interconnection here, above, above all of that, right, above the home's internal wiring, I think it really does help reduce risk for the contractor. Yep. Absolutely. Sometimes they don't, won't even have to enter the home, which is like another added benefit, right? The homeowner doesn't have to be, be there, must let people in. Um, so yeah, really big benefit of the product. Yeah, especially if the, that main panel is in the basement, right? Exactly. If yeah. the meter's outside, then your entire installation lives outside with it. Excellent, excellent. Just a quick word from our sponsor, Schneider Electric and the new Schneider Home. If you're a contractor or electrician considering which solar and energy management system to offer, then you need to take a look at the new Schneider Home. The Schneider Home provides an all-in-one solution for solar, storage, EV charging, and intelligent load control. The integrated design reduces the total number of components, allowing you to dramatically lower material and labor costs. Schneider Home uses equipment that contractors and electricians already know, like the Square-D QO Plug-On Neutral Load Center. For over 100 years, Schneider has been helping factories and office buildings optimize energy, and now this technology is available for U.S. homes. Schneider Home is the perfect solution for new construction homes or those needing a main panel upgrade. So if you'd like to learn more information, you can go directly to the Schneider Home commercial website or click the link in the description below so you can sign up to be a certified installer right away. Okay, so we're, we're looking a little bit more up close here now at the actual meter collar adapter. So can you kind of walk us through what are the different parts of the adapter? How does it work? Yeah, so right now, and this will be changing eventually, right? So each one of our products has a different feature or function. Uh, we walk through the islanding function. This one in my hand right now um, is designed for an EV charger. It's gonna be very similar for reasoning for a homeowner or contractor, electrician to want to install it. You're avoiding the uh, risk inside of the home, staying out of that main panel. Uh, with the EV version, it is compatible with up to 125 amp service. Uh, there is a whole home breaker um, that's integrated into this unit that would need to match. Um, you guys can get closer too if you want to see. Uh, that would need to match the, the home's uh, main breaker as well. Um, the junction box up top, it will have the uh, DER branch circuit, um, which will work with the EV charger. Um, and those are compatible with every level two, most level two chargers uh, for a standard. Uh, EV. Okay, so you got the EV version here, you've got the islanding version here. This is actually the solar version. Oh, the solar version. Yeah, okay. so this is our, you know, original, um, what the prod the company was founded on is the solar meter socket adapter. Um, so similar to what, you know, Nora just spoke about with both islanding and EV, um, eliminates that need for that main panel replacement and all the other challenges we talked about. Um, this goes up to 200 amps. Yeah, so the breaker, the integrated PV breaker is up to an 80 amp breaker. So this is the solar version is compatible with up to a 200 amp service for the home. Uh, so it uh, has up to an 80 amp DER breaker. Uh, so works with up to about a 15 kW uh, residential system. So so most of them. Mm -hmm. um, but again, you know, if for a lot of homes, especially here in California, if you have an old undersized electrical service, you may be forced to do a main panel upgrade or, or what you call a main panel replacement. Mm -hmm. Whereas with this, you can do your solar tap right here. You don't have to do it inside the main load center. You're doing it right at the, basically at where the where the electrical service comes into the house above the main breaker. So you as a, as a contractor don't have the risk or you as a homeowner don't have to have the contractor disrupting or, or digging into your, your in-the-house wiring. Yep. Okay. So what else should the audience know about this solution? So we talked about, we've got islanding. So this is for off-grid off -grid backup power, right? Mm -hmm. Disconnect from the grid, you can energize in the home. You've got EV, EV charger. Again, by doing the tap here, the EV charger is gonna be a high amp draw. So again, where you might be, let's say, forced to do a main panel upgrade inside the home, you can just do that tap at the meter itself. You've got your full 40 amp EV charger circuit here. Mm -hmm. uh, and then of course, up to 80 amp feed in for solar, for, for grid tie solar again, at, at the meter, so you don't have to disrupt the wiring inside the home. So what else, what else do we have here? 
So these are our three um, products that are either on the market today or getting very close. Um, thing to know and to note, um, we're rapidly expanding our market um, and our approved markets overall. Um, I think since the last time we, we've, we've spoken, um, we've gotten statewide approval in New Jersey. Uh, we're working on Maryland, Connecticut, Massachusetts. Um, so we're getting there, you know. I hope that one day meter socket adapters become the standard way to interconnect um, and, and not the exception. Um, and I really do feel that it's, we're, we're moving in that direction right now. Well, I, I think installers need this. You know, when, when, when battery storage started to become more mainstream, uh, the installers, I think a lot of the installers out there just didn't realize how much risk they were taking on with having, having to modify in-the-house wiring. And so again, I know for me as a former contractor, if I could have something like this that is clean, it's outside the house, it's predictable, you know, I'm doing the same thing every time, I'm not having to relearn each house's internal wiring, uh, to me that just says, you know, more profitability, lower risk, you know, let's get this on, on and move on to the next job. Yeah. When I worked in operations in solar, which now also has been quite a while ago, um, my entire focus was how do we get to PTO um, as quickly as possible and consistently and safely. And this technology does that for contractors. Excellent. Megan, is there anything else the audience should know about, about Connector or about your solution here? No, visit you know, connector.com. All of the information and technical specs and our availability is available on there. Um, follow us on you know, social. Um, if you have questions, reach out to us. Um, and yeah, we'll definitely point you in the right direction. Looking forward to working with a lot of our partners and you know, installers across the country. Excellent. Well, again, folks, this has been a chat with Nora Lardner and Megan Fleming from Connector. We're looking at meter socket adapters for off-grid backup for EV charging, uh, for solar interconnection. Again, everything above the main breaker so you don't have that risk of dealing with inside the house wiring. Uh, folks, as always, if you're getting good value from these videos that you watch on Solar Surge, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well. We're trying to get this thing over 100,000 subscribers this year. Uh, and of course, the reason we come to conferences like this one, like Inner Solar, is to make sure that you all are staying up to date with all the latest solar industry product and technology updates. So again, give us that thumbs up if you're getting good value. But uh, that does it for today's presentation. I thank you for spending some more time on the channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.